Well, good morning and welcome to Nashville. We had a good time last night down did. downtown in Broadway. A little too good a time. <laughs> this worked out pretty well, staying here at the Nashville RV Resort and yeah. taking their shuttle. Uh, the shuttle last night went till 1.30. We didn't stay out that late, but close. We're going to use their dump station here. Might as well utilize that. Mm -hmm. Let's go find that bakery. Yeah, hopefully they haven't like sold out of things. Dump. Isn't that a... Uh, it is. What do they call it? Something else other than dump. Extraction. Oh, that, that that's worse. <laughs> what? Okay. You still want to go to the bakery? On the road into the sky. Never let adventures pass you by. What's the name of this bakery, Michelle? Five Daughters Bakery. Five Daughters Bakery. You heard it. That's where we're going. Let's go get them. <laughs> Hope they have some gluten-free stuff. If not, I'll just watch you and have salivate. some water. Nice big parking lot here. You could probably get a Class A in here pretty easily. All oh, these up here are all gluten free. So let's see your donuts. Here's mine. These are the gluten free. This one was a Sea salt, I don't know sea salt caramel, but I'm not sure. And this was a cookies and cream. But this is supposed to be their their most popular. And oh, which you can you have the gluten free, correct. And I got uh vanilla bean. You got heaven, that's what you yeah, got. And a maple one. And these also were supposed to be their Let's most see how popular. thick that is. That thing looks know. thick. Hold, or hold one up. Let's see how thick it is. Mamma mia. <laughs> That's the, the uh, sea salt one? Mm hmm. Pretty good, boy. They're a uh, cake. Gluten free cake donut. It's really good. I'm going to try this one. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I think I like this one a little better. The, which one? Cookies and cream? Yeah, I think so. But, gluten free. I'm sure they don't compare to those, but they're pretty darn good for gluten free. We give those an eight and a half. Oh, wow. I'm gonna try the vanilla bean first. All right. I'm gonna use a fork. Sorry. Oh my goodness, it has a filling. <laughs> a filling in it. <laughs> you sound like a little kid. Mm. So excited. Oh my gosh. That good? That's so good. Cream filled. Let's see the cream. Bean. Oh my goodness. Wow. Best donut you ever had? It's pretty darn, pretty darn good. Wow. That's a nine for sure. Wow. Mm. Mm. I, Maybe nine and a half. On the reviews online, I remember reading that these were kind of a cross between a croissant and a donut, and yeah. you can tell how flaky they are. Yeah, mm. very light mm. and very good. Sounds like this is a place you guys need to stop. If you like donuts, wish we didn't. Well, the donuts were good, and now it's time for lunch. And a nap. <laughs> I know a lot of you have asked us, you know, do you ever eat at home? We do, we, we just don't show it a lot, but I thought we would share this with you. A lot of times what Michelle and I do, and it's kind of a habit we picked up from when we did the low carb diet. We still like kind of, we just cut back on our carbs uh, as much as we can. Donuts and pie is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we gotta make up for it somewhere. We like this Havarti cheese that we get from uh, Costco. We use that like a sandwich. We use two pieces of, uh, of the cheese and um, some Hormel hard salami and ham that has no nitrates and we just 
use the two slices of cheese as uh, as the bread basically and, and just have that and it's filling protein and uh, we don't eat a lot for lunch usually uh, unless it's a weekend and we're out and about it is really nice to um, have your your vehicle that you're like touring around in getting around in instead of the tow vehicle now this is everything all in one so it is really nice and handy having always having your bathroom with you always having you know something to eat if you spill something on you you can change clothes if you feel nasty you can take a shower <laughs> you don't have to go drive back to the RV resort and uh, to do those things we're going to go to the uh, Grand Ole Opry tonight and we're trying to decide if there's anything uh, that we have time to do um, before that so we'll give that some thought I just saw a cardinal we love cardinals and uh, squirrel oh one other thing I wanted to talk about is um, with the DEF fluid, the truck used a lot more DEF than uh, diesel exhaust fluid. If you don't know what DEF stands for. This has about 4,400 miles on it and we're just under halfway uh, empty. So for the... Uh, DEF? For the DEF, yeah, for the diesel exhaust fluid. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up. We gotta run to Walmart, get a few things. With the time and everything, I think we're just gonna get some things done get some things we need and then go to the Opry yeah the Nashville there is so much to see in mm. this city um, there is. I mean we would really need to stay a couple more days maybe at least and take some tours and stuff like that but we just don't have time didn't really plan to, to stay that long anyway so we, we wanted to hit yeah. the main things that we wanted to do which was what yeah, we did last night and then going to the Grand Ole Opry tonight. Actually we did more than we thought we were going to. Yeah. And uh, the best thing we ever did was getting that RV resort, taking that shuttle and going down yeah. downtown to Broadway. That was a ton of fun. It it's was. So many bands. Every place you go to is walking down. There's a different band. You, no cover charges. You just walk up and they all have their windows open, most of them, where yeah. you can hear the band and kind of decide if you want to go in or not. It was a lot of fun. It was. We found a couple uh, bands that we really enjoyed mm -hmm. and uh, were really, really good. And the fun thing is, is it's not all country music that the bands play. I mean, there was, there's rock, there's, um, yeah. A lot. Yeah, different. <laughs> little of everything. <laughs> Other than country is basically what I meant. Yeah, little of everything. <clears throat> if you have an Ion Strata or Mercedes chassis, make sure you get under the hood to put the DEF in here. You should never put the DEF right into your fuel or your fuel goes. Either go over to the mall, grab something to eat, go back to our RV, grab something to eat, and or they said they had a, a, a restaurant over here as well. I don't think she's paying attention. What do you think? <laughs> trying to, it's a, kind of a confusing area. So I'm just trying to. Randall really, Opry's right there. Yeah. That's all we need to know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. home <laughs> just to change that like again that's really nice to be able just to come and change real quick can i get a yeehaw yeehaw is that mini mouse
was our first time at the, uh, the Grand Ole Opry, and we really enjoyed it. We did. We kept sitting there thinking... Can't believe we're here. Can't believe we're actually <laughs> sitting in here. Let's run inside and grab a coffee real quick. Can I just get a coffee to go? I did a ting. I went in for coffee and I bought a t-shirt. There's so many places to see and so little time. And we gotta get up to Iowa by a certain time here. We're trying to decide whether to go to the Corvette Museum. Gosh, we wanted to go through um, a tour of the, uh, in, in what was that called? Angels in Louis Envy. Louisville, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Angels Envy. Um, looks like they're sold out. We didn't get the tickets ahead of time because we weren't sure what day we were going to be there. Um, could always give it a try and maybe we'll get lucky and somebody didn't go to it but i don't know all i know is we got to get going or we're not going to see anything i know got everything put away we're going to leave the bed just made like that back there and it'll be ready to go when we're done tonight National Park. We decided to uh, make a little change along the way on our drive. We were going to go to the, the Corvette Museum in Bowling Green, uh, but we decided to go here. We thought uh, we don't have enough time to stop at both. Yeah, so we're just going to do this and then move along, but I think this is a good choice. I, I, we do want to see the Corvette Museum someday, but we just didn't have the time right now. But boy, there's a lot of RVs here. Oh yeah, inside the cave. It's supposed to be about 54 degrees in some areas, even on days that it's 90 degrees outside. So be sure to bring a coat or jacket, don't light her. jacket. I'll bring light jacket. 54 really? is a little chilly. Yeah, no, maybe I won't. Will I? Thank you. Our tour starts at 115. It is a uh, historic tour. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so we're supposed to be 30 minutes before your tour starts, but we're here a little earlier, and uh, they have a little museum to go through here. That I think we got a little time. We can go through it real quick before our tour starts. Check this out. This model here. Uh huh is a section of the cave system. It's really only this red boxed area. Oh, wow. And look at all of this entire cave system. All of this yellowish color is the cave. They intersect and run above and below each other. Look at like that. Like a shallow platter of spaghetti. Wow, and that's just that little part right there. Oh, what, what, what? Oh, a snake. Oh, 
Yeah, go off the trail. I'm like, what's that piece of rubber there? I'm like, what's that piece of rubber doing? I thought it was a piece of rubber. Oh, what? Oh, he's gentle. He looked like he was going that way, right? I can already feel the cool air coming from the cave. We're going in. <laughs> Groundwater began interacting with the Gherkin limestone about 10 million years ago and began to carve the caves. The upper levels of the cave system were fully formed by 3.2 million years ago, based on radiometric dating of quartz pebbles. But this dirt is important. <laughs> this is dirt that covers our shoes, that fills these halls. Believe it or not, this dirt here shaped the young nation of the United States of America. We gotta turn back the clock a couple hundred years, back into the early 1800s. At this point, Kentucky was the Wild West. This was a place on the western frontier of the United States, there wasn't a lot of infrastructure and there were very few people. So this led to quite a, a, a need for to be resourceful. And they found out that this dirt here had something pretty important, something called nitrates. Now nitrates don't mean too much to us today, but it's done. Water is a powerful force that can carve through rock, but it works very slowly. To form this massive cave system, water percolated through cracks and pores in the cap rocks, where it reached the soluble limestone calcium carbonate. Rainwater and groundwater are slightly acidic, naturally containing carbonic acid through the reaction of water and carbon dioxide, therefore chemically dissolving the rock over very long periods of time, also physically weathering the rock with the erosional power of water. The large size of this cave system is attributed to the amount of time it has been forming and to the size of the Green River drainage basin. Mm -hmm. At various points in the geologic past, Parts of the cave system have filled with sediment and accumulated from the Green River, in some cases filling up previous passageways. Since the 1800s, Mammoth Cave has been a hotbed of scientific discovery, but the history of the caves goes back even further. The first American Indian explorers entered the cave around 5,000 years ago, and for nearly two centuries Native Americans explored and mined the upper three levels of Mammoth Cave. So this water here down the Very interesting. It may not be the prettiest cave that we have been in, but it's... It it's had really its, cool in its own right. It had its own beauty. It didn't yeah, have the... All the pointy things. didn't have all the stalagmites. Yeah. But, but it, was, it was still pretty. Lots of stairs. And huge. Well, I'm glad we stopped there. That was a really long tour. A lot of walking. Yeah. Through Mammoth Cave. Stairs and inclines and... I'm worn out. I am too. <laughs> Well, our next stop, I believe, unless we find something else to stop first, is Louisville, Kentucky. We have a place to stop there, but we're not sure we can get in yet. In we're one trying mile, to find out. Turn left onto Cave City. No obstacles that we faced did ever slow us down. We knew we'd get here, went the extra mile in every race. We are due. Pulled over so Michelle could drive, and I'm going to do some searching. We were going to go to Angel's Envy uh, Distillery Tour in Louisville, Kentucky, but we're too late for those as well. We're too late for all the distilleries. So we're going to find something else to hit along the way because tomorrow's work week. We got to find a landing spot for the day uh, for tomorrow, and then we'll be driving tomorrow night. <laughs> 